What's up guys? Welcome back to another Elastic Rice Stick Team Pick review. Um, so you know this week's team picks we've got Mizu Wei first but Rikuru Daniel is a really really amazing uh, looking level. It's actually quite old as like uh, one of the beginning beginning of LPP3 there's there's when this level came out pretty much. And um, it's quite surprising that you know such an old level has gotten team picked. But I'm very glad it has because you know when we first played it, it was amazing. We thought it would get team picked. Uh, just taking its time, clearly taking a long time before Stevens got around to team picking this. Um, but you know the style is so coherent. It goes all, everything goes together so well. The color scheme is amazing. Decorations, the lighting is amazing. You've also got some nice obstacles as well. They all look so really cool. I mean, look at these saws that come down. They are so amazing. Um, it's just aesthetically, I couldn't believe that this it took so long for this level to get team pick. Um, but you know, it has some re these sort of obstacles are quite refreshing, and then it uses the hero cape, which um, is, is getting used a bit more actually, more and more. But um, I'm not very good at the hero cape, but still, these obstacles they just look I mean, even though they, they seem like they could be very similar to all the, some other different obstacles, very basic obstacles, the way that Rakura Dan has made them look really makes the whole level stand out and it's different. And I like the way he subtly put in hints on where to go, like that arrow there you see just tells it's like as it looked like graffiti. But then it actually blends in. Or like all these sort of hints and signs mostly sort of are hidden in. They're like in, in like it's just like graffiti. It fits it actually fits in these hints. So which is really cool and I said yeah, this level I definitely think is well worth the Dean pick. And you know if you want to see the whole playthrough again you know we've got we've got the playthrough on the channel from way 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 back, so definitely go check it out. But Mizu Way was an amazing level. I mean, these just the attention to detail to these these obstacles is amazing. So you should definitely give it a play. This one next we've got Apala by Mir Janaki. I hope I'm saying that that name right. I don't know. I just found it a bit disappointing. Apala. I like I like the way that we are heroes on the uh, the scoreboard is, is heroes and it's got some really really amazing music. The menu is very nice as well. It's just I feel a bit disappointed in terms of maybe the controls. It's just I mean we can pull our wings back. It didn't seem like it did much apart from help us avoid obstacles and like the in and out or up and down. I mean the controls menu sort of I think it said in and out but we're going up and down and it wasn't very clear to be honest. What was nice though is that they have like these sort of achievement section at the very end. So you know, clearly I, I, didn't, I didn't get any <laughs> achievements. I wasn't very good at all, I got Dragon Slayer. But um, you know, I clearly wasn't very good, but I like that there was this achievements thing in this whole level. Um, the aesthetics are reasonably nice, the characters are kind of nice, and I like that they made noises and stuff. And the music really goes together well, the whole theme. And it's just that this whole in and out collecting rings and actually shooting the enemies it wasn't very clear if I was on the right level to be shooting them, which is so disappointing. I need that's the one that's the one thing I really just didn't like about this level was I didn't know if I was in the right le layer or not. And then as as you know, as the level sped up, which you know there really wasn't much of an indication of it speeding up. I mean I would have thought if you can speed up you by putting your your wings behind you that'd help a bit, but no. Nope. Um, it's just. It makes it really frustrating when you're trying to get a high score. This is a high score game after all, high score level. You, you don't even know what part, when you're in the right layer to get scores. Which is so frustrating. I mean, has made some really, really amazing levels that are worth team picks for sure. But this one, I just feel like wasn't quite one of them. And then next was Bouncing Factory. We actually featured this last week. We played this uh, last week, so definitely check that if you haven't already. But as a really amazing level by Amazing Maximus 2. Major Maximus has actually been pumping out loads and loads of levels constantly. He's a really good creator, I think. He's, he's improved a lot, actually. I think this is his best level by far, to be honest, Major Maximus, I think. And they're really cool. He's got a use of like, the, the water jet thing. You can make it bounce, and you can make things slippery. I really like, this is the part that I like the most here. Like this little bouncy, you're actually making something more bouncy, so it initiates a switch. But I like the bounciness up here, where you're making, you know, bounce material is very well used. And like making things slide down using using the water jet is a really nice idea, and it's all just done very well. Everything ties together so well. The aesthetics, the color scheme, everything just works. It all goes together so well, and it's got really coherent design. It's got really it's got some interesting obstacles, and I like that he's sort of deaths or like struggle points, where if you know, you haven't jumped up quite well, he's got that wormhole to bring you back up, which is very good. The only I feel like it was just too short this level. There's so many things that I liked about. It, I just want to keep keep going. That was a real shame about it. There's another thing that I really didn't like about this level though, was that you know water bubbles actually 
stopped the path of your um, your water jets. So you know, when you're shooting it, when you're shooting your water, your bubbles, score bubbles, will block your water jet, which is really... It's just like, it seems like something that really should have been thought about. But, oh well, never mind. And there's also hidden collectibles here uh, as well, um, which, again, was a really nice touch, but at the same time, it, it lacked the idea of, you know, there's nothing at the end that to say how many I've collected. I collected them all. But I mean, overall, it was really, I think it was still worth a team pick despite these flaws. Um, but, you know, there could be areas it could be improved upon. But this is a really, this is, again, it was another nice, nice week for team picks, to be honest. And don't forget to click that like button below if you enjoyed these team picks this week in this video. Hope you check out all the other Little Bit Planet community levels we bring to you on Left Stick Right Stick. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.